put a smile on your face When you're moving from place to place, place. Good morning, good morning, morning Good morning, morning Welcome back to Youth Wednesdays on Tobago Updates. Of course, as mentioned in the rundown, we start off with Miss Janique Myers. She is the owner of a business that caters to sargasm. So let's hear about that. Good morning, Miss Myers. Good morning, Natalia. You can call me Jen. Jen, I can call... <laughs> oh, I got a nickname. Good morning, Jen, and welcome to Youth Wednesdays on Tobago Updates. Thank you. You make me feel youthful today. Oh, <laughs> All right. So where did the idea come about? Because, I mean, we see the sargasm washing up on our shores and everybody's asking, you know, I mean, where it's coming from and more so what can this be used for since that we seen that we have such a great um, amount of it. Right. So so what where did the idea about this come about? So my day job, I am a conference interpreter and I was serving as an interpreter for a conference where scientists from around the Caribbean were talking about their findings from the research that they were doing around sargassum seaweed, this seaweed that's been basically invading the shorelines, not just Tobago, but the entire Caribbean yeah. region. And so after a week of hearing the scientists talk about the benefits of sargassum and all that could be done with it, and they were showing like concrete results, it just went ding, ding, ding. And I thought, you know, okay, I have a girlfriend, Donna Lisa Phillips. She's been making her own line of skincare products, beauty products for 12 years. So I told her, look, you have to try this sargassum seaweed, blend it into your products. Let's figure it out. And around the same time, the IDB had a Tobago Blue Economy ideas competition yeah. where they were seeking just ideas. You didn't actually have to into a product, just the idea. And so we, um, we pitched our idea for Sargassum skincare products and we were one of seven, um, organizations in Tobago selected for grant funding. And so that grant funding allowed us to kick off a business based on Sargassum. Okay, so I mean, this is a really good initiative, I must say, before we continue. Um, because I mean, as I said, we have a lot of seaweed washing up on shore, and it's good that we found, you know, health benefits. Right, so we go straight into that part. Um, what are some of the health benefits or benefits on a whole of using your product? Yes, and I want to, I really want to reinforce the sargassum that people see and smell on the beach. It goes through a process before we get to use it in the cosmetics. But the benefits, according to the scientists, and again, I'm not a scientist, but according to the scientists, uh, sargassum actually has 95 out of the 100 most commonly found minerals on planet Earth. So it's like a concentration of goodness just in that seaweed. And then it also is known for its antioxidant um, factors, meaning that it helps to reduce the appearance of aging. It also has antifungal and antibacterial properties. So when you use it on your skin, now remember your skin is the, the largest organ that we have in our bodies, our skin. So anything you put on your skin, the skin is going to absorb. So basically your skin is absorbing the goodness of the sargassum seaweed. Okay. And what are some of the products that you offer? So we launched just last year. We're very young in the game and we launched with two products. We are going to be building it out as time goes by, but we launched with uh, sargassum soap. Now it's a hydrating soap, moisturizing soap. You can even see the little bits of sargassum in there. Yeah. So it has the hydration factor, but also an exfoliation because when you rub it on your skin, it helps to remove the dead um, skin cells. And we also have an oil. So we have... Currently, uh, we've labeled it as a female body oil and a male body oil. Um, we're actually in the process of renaming. I'm not going to give you the new name, but it's <laughs> going to be coming out soon. So the oils are basically a combination of essential oils, olive oil, vitamin E oil, sunflower oil, and sweet almond oil. These are, these are oils that people know, that people are used to using. But for anybody who cooks, if you put garlic or like rosemary or basil in olive oil, for example... It gets all that flavor. Yeah. It's the same thing with the sargassum. So the, the sargassum, basically, it infuses into the oil. So it combines all the nutrients of the oils, the moisturizing effect of the oils, plus all of the properties of the sargassum seaweed. So it's literally a, a hydration bomb for the skin. Mm -hmm. And 
We've had feedback, um, very funny feedback actually, but people use it in their hair and the men have been telling us, you all need to relabel that thing. It's not a body oil, it's a beard oil. All right, so <laughs> let's, let's jump into that, all right? So you mentioned that there is a difference between the female and the male. What's the difference between the makeup of the oil? Because we know that both of them are made from based sargasm, but what else makes it up to make that difference, differentiate between the male and the female? So the difference is the fragrance. There's a fragrance that's added and I'm going to open this one for you if it will allow me. And also in the female oil, we add turmeric. You can see, I'll pass it on to you. You can see some turmeric at the bottom yeah. there. So the turmeric gives it a little bit of color and turmeric is also really good for inflammation. So I think women um, would be very happy to know that. That's the only difference between the male and the, the female is the fragrance and the turmeric. And what's what's in the meal? So the male oil, it's the same oils, mm. olive oil, sunflower oil, vitamin E oil, sweet almond oil, and a nice fragrance. Now, interestingly enough, for us, it's a male scent, but we have a lot of female clients who have said they prefer the male scent to the female scent, which is why we're in the process of relabeling. I mean, to be quite honest, in any product that um, we use, a lot of females prefer to smell sometimes cologne over perfume and these type of things. So what you're saying is that, yes, there is a male and female differentiation, but any gender could interuse. Absolutely. Listen, you use whatever pleases you, whatever, you know, suits your fancy. But because of the feedback that we've been getting since we launched in August last year, we take into account what people tell us. A lot of it very positive. The only thing people have pointed out is like, why do you call it a male oil? We love it. We are females and we love the oil. So we're going to, we, we've taken that feedback into account and we're going to be changing the, the, the name of the oils pretty soon. And I know that you just mentioned, you know, that it's a really good beard oil. So I'm guessing that our audience, the, the male audience that is, has now peaked their interest, it's now piqued their interest in using this because, you know, they're very strong on the beard movement, and so to speak. So, so we've noted, and, and here's another interesting thing. Um, of course, we discovered that women are the ones who go out and either buy the oil for the guys, or we've heard of, you know, guys sort of borrowing <laughs> the, <laughs> the oil of their they're female partners. So it's not always the men who are buying it for themselves, although there, there are men who take very good care of themselves, who groom themselves. So yes, men, you are welcome to use our body oil, beard oil, um, and it also doubles as a massage oil. Okay, so there are lots of uses for this oil. Many uses. Okay, so um, well, we know when we're passing on the shoreline, if you're walking along the beach or even when you're driving your cars, mm -hmm. if you pass close to where the sargasm is being washed ashore, mm -hmm. there is this, I don't want, fragrance is not good. Pungent. Pungent smell, odor. AKA right? stench. Yes, and <laughs> you guess. you have a sample of that sargasm here as well yeah. as the oils and we are not smelling that, you know, pungent odor. So what is your purification process like? I didn't let you smell it earlier, but so we, let me just say that what there you smell on here. the shore, you smell the decomposition. That's when the sargassum is rotting. It's, it's a live creature when it's in the water. It's algae when it's in the water. So from the time it hits the shore, it's dead. Right. It's going to rot. And that's the smell that you get. So we actually harvest in the water, right? When it's fresh, before it hits the shore, before it gets, um, you know, polluted by all the stuff that you find on the shore. Because, the I mean, beaches. people pick out fishes and all kind of stuff from this. So I haven't seen too many fishes, but yes, we, we know that that can happen. So we harvest in the water. And from there, the process is pretty simple. We wash it with rainwater, right? We have a rainwater collection system, right? In Hope, here in Tobago. Okay. And then it's dried naturally in the sun. We have uh, some, I didn't have photos of it, but it's basically chicken wire. So it's laid out in the sun to dry. It mm. takes about two or three days. We kind of turn it around. And that's where you get the sample. Now, what we also do, as you saw earlier in the bottle, you have these sort of strands floating in, in the bottle. I don't know if it can be seen on the screen. Oh, Maybe yeah, this one is easier yeah, to see. It. There you go. So the, the sargassum um, seaweed is actually floating in the water, um, in the oil, sorry. But for the soap, what we do is we, we grind this down to about the size of like brown sugar granules. Okay. And this is what goes into the, the soap. So it really has that exfoliating finish. And if you look closely at the 
the seaweed sample you have there. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's actually very pretty. That's one of the things <laughs> I love about it. it. It's beautiful. It's got these little berries, these fine leaves. It is a work of art. Yes. So that's basically the process um, for the sargassum. And then my business partner, Don Lisa Phillips, she um, combines it. She's the one who does the blending, the formulation. And there we have spargasm for a spargasmic experience. You see, I told you that um, the males will take an interest. You see, we start. Ah, somebody's someone. coming to test. Wait, <laughs> would you like to have some on your beard, sir? You see? Oh. <laughs> All right. We're welcoming so. my next host on set. <laughs> Very excited to. to Test this product. <laughs> so let's welcome Dwayne, Dwayne on set. Good morning, Dwayne. Good morning. <laughs> well, thank you for, for playing along. So maybe you can help me here opening this one. I have a little trouble opening it. So it, it does come sealed. There you go. Now, can you smell this? I want you to smell it for yourself. <laughs> 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 that's the secret sauce i don't even know it's my it's don lisa phillips she's the one who formulates it it's a fragrance no guys if secret you all sauce, know Dwayne, Dwayne is <laughs> one of the biggest male groomers i know he is very much into the you know the whole cosmetic kind of thing don't hit me the vada you know that is how you are don't make, don't make it like well he is right just, he's, he's being very humble Good care of himself. Right. He good, takes care of good care of himself. So, so the experience. excitement that you've just seen on Dwayne's face, you can judge whether or not, you know, on the back. he's enjoying oh. this product. You want to put it on your beard? Yeah. Okay. So I just put two drops. Not because I'm being stingy, but because a little goes a long way. Really? Yes. We have one client actually who I told I won't. I said, you don't need to use too much. Put it on, you know, after you have your shower, before you go to bed. And she called and I said to say, oh my gosh. You really did say don't use too much. Now I have yellow stains all over my pillow. Oh, it's no. Like, How much did you use? He's like, oh, well, a, a little bit more than two. <laughs> <laughs> a little goes a long way. It's not very good. That's it? Yeah, it's not. Now you can do your hair, you can do your eyebrows, you can do your face. Now I don't wear a lot of makeup, but this is basically what I'm wearing. This is my moisturizer, a little bit of cream foundation, and that's it. And she's here on Youth Wednesdays looking very youthful. So, you know, the yeah, product yeah. works. Yes, it does. And a test for you, Daniela, because uh, Mr. Dwayne got his little sample. I don't know if I can get up. Sure. You pass it on. So please, Just one, one or two drops. Yes. A little goes a long way. Oh. Good? Yes. Thank you. So oh, I use wow. it, of course, on my, my, my skin. Like I said, my face, that's my basic um, moisturizing routine yeah. for my face. <laughs> I love the <laughs> I love the consistency of this oil. It, it has my skin feeling smooth already. And what you'll smooth. notice is even hours later, there's no sort of greasy residue. Yeah. Right? You'll tell me if I lied or not, but there's of course, no greasy residue. There'll be residue. reviews next week. We'll look at <laughs> Dwayne's beard very closely as well as my skin. Well, you got you to gotta massage it in and over time, you'll, you'll see. You'll see. Yes, oh yes, yeah, yes. I can I can get the prices on air. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> so let me first say where they're available. Um, because we don't have a, a shop just yet, but um they're available at thank you, Dwayne. <laughs> uh at Short Things in Lambo. Actually we're gonna be at a pop up market there this Saturday. It's the first Saturday of every month. We're at Short Things um on the old Milford Road in Lambo. We're also available at the Comfort Inn Suites, their gift shop. And a couple of villas around the island, also at um, Sinro Manro, Sinro, <laughs> Sinro Manor mm -hmm. Spa. Sorry, so you can get our products there, and we're also online on PlantingSeedsCaribbean.com until we get our own Spa Gasum um, e-commerce website going, which will happen uh, before Christmas. Okay, and I do look forward to this because, as I said, the consistency, the scent. I'm getting this, you know, this this feminine kind of. I know she mentioned the type of oils, but overall it smells a little tambourine kind of way, you know. And then Dwayne really liked the male scent as well. So I think the males are now looking forward to this product. It's a natural product, straight out of Tobago, I should say, you know. So I do encourage you all to try this product, you know. Um, in order for you to get this product, of course, we need to get that contact information to you. So I'll pass it over to Ms. Myers to just share, or sorry, Jen, to just share her contact information with you. Thank you. So it's seven six two zero two six six. Uh We're also reachable at spargasm at gmail.com. Look for us as well on IG and Facebook at spargasm, S-P-A-R-S. 
G A S S U M. By the way, it's a combination of spa and mm-hmm. sargassum. And pretty soon, um, we're gonna be coming out with our own e-commerce boutique, spargassum dot com. So you can look out for us. And if you're here in Tobago, like I said, sure things uh, in Lambo, Sin Romano Villa, and the Confident Sweets gift shop. All right. So thank you, Miss Jen Meek Myers or Jen. You know that she gave me that nickname. So thankful for it. Thank you so much, Jen, for joining us here on Tobago Update. She is the owner for all viewers that are just joining us. The owner of Spargasm. It's a sargasm-based company that makes products. You know, oils, soaps, and exfoliation products. You know, just for your skin. Um, I encourage you to um really try this product because I'm still rubbing my hands together because this the consistency. I can't stop talking about it. Right, so viewers, we do encourage you to try the product and also we do encourage you to share the live, share the live, share the live. We'll be right back, viewers.